from the gospel according to john chapter 4 verses 43 to 54 at that time jesus left samaria for galilee for jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place when he came into galilee the galileans welcomed him since they had seen all he had done in jerusalem at the feast for they themselves had gone to the feast then he returned to cana in galilee where he had made the water wine now there was a royal official whose son was ill in capernaum when he heard that jesus had arrived in galilee from judea he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death jesus said to him unless you people see signs and wonders you will not believe the royal official said to him sir come down before my child dies jesus said to him you may go your son will live the man believed what jesus said to him and left while the man was on his way back His slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday about 1 in the afternoon. The father realized that just at the time Jesus had said to him, "Your son will live." And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea This father asks for help for his son the lord rebukes everyone a little but also him unless you people see signs and wonders you will never believe the official instead of remaining silent goes forward and says to him sir come down before my child dies and jesus answers go your son will live it takes three things to make a true prayer the first is faith if you have no faith and very often prayer is merely oral made using the mouth but it does not come from the faith of the heart or it is a weak faith the first condition for a true prayer is faith the second condition that jesus teaches us is perseverance some ask but grace does not come they do not have this perseverance because in the end they do not need it or they do not have faith faith and perseverance go together because if you have faith It is sure that the Lord will grant you what you ask. And if the Lord makes you wait, knock, knock, knock. In the end, the Lord will give you the grace. And the third thing that God wants in prayer is courage. Someone might think, does it take courage to pray and to stay before the Lord? It does. This virtue of courage is so necessary, not only for apostolic action, but also for prayer faith perseverance and courage in these days in which it is necessary to pray to pray more let us think about whether we pray in this way with faith that the lord can intervene with perseverance and courage the lord does not let us down he does not disappoint he makes us wait he takes his time but he does not disappoint faith perseverance and courage